Hello and welcome back to War Thunder and welcome aboard the Spitfire Mark 5C, the new one which got introduced with uh, this patch and I like it. I like the look of it, it's one of the early wing Spitfires or the early Spitfires which is not a Mark 9 from which point on there are too good for their own good I'd say and well I love the elliptic wings, the shape and all this stuff and I did a video about the other recent implementation recently the Spitfire Mark 5B which is not the tropical version the same here not the tropical so the performance to the other tech tree version um, should be very similar but you have a higher battery rating 4.7 compar compared to 4.3 um, not quite sure if this is justified or not but Battle ratings in planes is as long as you are not at higher battle rating, so um, 6.7 and upward is not that crucial because the performance of the planes is all over the place. And it begins really with the British, with their stock Hispanos, that you really feel an awful stock grind. And I think the Hispanos, regardless of their Mark 1, 2, or five, um, it doesn't really matter. When they're stuck, they're awful. When they're fully upgraded, there are some of the best weapon systems in the game. Now, as you can see, for uh, the first few minutes, the first eight and a half minutes, uh, I have to use the replay because, well, my recording uh, was full and uh, suddenly it stopped recording. And instead of, you know, Frankensteining the entire video with the stuff that it actually did record and the stuff it didn't record and using that from the replay, I just did the simple thing and recorded from the replay. So I hope you don't mind. And it gives me enough time to talk about certain things. So the gameplay that you see in the background is actually with a Spitfire Mark 5C that is partially upgraded and well especially the firepower is something that i have to say at this point in time i just couldn't be bothered i had some awful awful games when it was stuck and i just well um it was too much for me today and i just purchased some of the upgrades um compare uh, especially for the weapons there they are uh hispanos and they have a reputation for the last few patches I'd say with the phrase his sparkles you know they spark a lot um, you get the hits in but they do not do a lot of damage and well I felt the same with the mark 5 B however I had machine guns as backup and you might laugh at it but I love the combination of cannons and machine guns because you can tickle the enemy a little bit he does evasive actions he gives you the profile shot and that gives a bigger hitting zone for your cannons where you don't have that much ammunition it's a bit of a mind game you also can harvest a few more ground units than just with the cannons at the end game um, going through the progression a bit faster or the spading process grinding process whatnot so i always love you know machine guns and cannons and that is also one of the redeeming features of a lot of the German planes now I think it's not really the weapons faults of the Germans it's just to bring the guns on target but let's not digress um, or I digress I want to just focus on this plane at first and what enemies it faces I think versus the actual German planes you don't have that many problems be one or nines for wolves you can turn against them um, and just very disciplined players actually pose a big threat so the biggest problem is for me the p47 it out climbs you with the air start and the weapon system is still ridiculous the 850 cals with the amount of ammunition and especially when your weapon system is stuck ugh, i mean to get guns on target is then really difficult and you know you don't just face one there are three four five in the air and they just make it very difficult for you to actually engage one enemy so this is why i did a little little bit of side climbing because i'm not fully upgraded um there i was actually afk for a moment 
and um, I thought I had more time against this P47. I was very lucky that one of my teammates, another P47, uh, shot down the enemy P47. So, yeah, historical matchmaking. And, yeah. <laughs> and it was at this moment that the initial recording just simply stopped, where I got the message, recording stopped. And I thought to myself, um, great, uh, now where I actually begin to engage the enemy. Um, and, you know, you cannot tab out and delete uh, old folders when you're in the middle of a turn fight. And it was at this moment that I knew I had to give the, um, well, very small profile to the enemy. Here I'm but overleading of this B109 F4 that stalled himself out, gave me a very clean shot. And the remaining enemies are actually now at low altitude, at least those that I see. And there is one B409 that would be an easy target, or three enemies. So the first B409, he just dives under me. The LA5, the premium one, uh, well, <laughs> head on. And then this P47, well, he, he actually does a smart maneuver, but I can follow him through and I actually hit this elevator, critical hit, and I get a triple strike. So I'm really satisfied. And this was more kills than I did in the previous five battles. And this is the first battle after I purchased the upgrade. So obviously the question is, you know, is this paid to win? Because the difference in performance already at this battle rating with the weapon systems is insane. But this might be just an oddity with the you know, British Hispanos. Well, yes and no. Um, with the 50 cals, I flew some stock planes and watch this shot. One single hit and he's dead. Fourth kill. Now the thing, and look at this maneuvering, a little bit of flap deploy. The other BF109 goes wide so I don't have to worry about him. And I'm not sure if this guy is stock or not. It doesn't really matter because I have the performance advantage. Just dipping here a little bit around with the flaps, we go on his tail and we make a clean shot, a single hit and his tail falls off. <laughs> yeah, so there's a bit of ranting here about the stock rant, but for example with 50 cals, when I was grinding the F4Us, the weapons were none of the problematic situations that I found myself in. Even the stock 50 cars have a good damage output and they have good accuracy. They rarely overheat, but with the Hispanos, it's just so extreme from one of the worst weapon systems, stock, to one of the best weapon systems, fully upgraded. And now with the recent event Spitfire, the Spitfire Mark 9C that also has quad um, Hispanos, 20 millimeters, you know, a lot of people reported to me that, well, suddenly Hispanos are working again. So I think to myself, well, great, Gaijin is just addressing issues if a new vehicle that they want to sell or that they want to um, present as a reward for a grinding session, uh, then they address problems. And I think this is a very, very bad approach. And it's just, you know... Um, fixing then it gets forgotten there is no quality control i'd say and i think that's also not good but again i don't want to get too much into it now at the end i had already my five kills and that's basically the match but i want to finish the commentary so at the end of the last segment i was hit by you know some uh, triple A positions and I think this is really annoying because it's just the middle of the combat zone. Um, SPA should be or triple A should be just cosmetic there. It should be absolutely deadly around the airfields in numerous stages so that we have different stages of air protection, some long range AA against the high altitude bombers in particular where it is a respectable threat but if you are above four kilometers, let's say, or five kilometers, uh, there should be a drastically reduced chance that it hits you. But everything below you, if you're a bomber, it should really be a threat. Then also a lot of the um, 40 millimeters, if you are in a, uh, if you are on an airfield that is for the allies, 
and a lot of 37 millimeters and 20 millimeters um, in higher density around German airfields. Maybe in the fashion of the Luftschneisen when it was late war and the ME362's run fields were really hard protected by well any sort of flock you know low caliber and high caliber um, so just some random ideas here now I actually again wanted to prepare more videos for the weekend but now all my grind is done I have researched the challenger I have researched uh, all the jets and I think now it's time to just spade um, through the tiers tier 1 2 3 and 4 are always my goals that everything is researched the rest is a question of golden eagles because the grind um, if you do not put a talisman on every single uh, you know plane and or tank it just it just takes so long especially if they are stocked completely stuck and they rely on upgrades which leads us to the initial um, you know question is this pay to win to you know get your gold needles on the hispano upgrades with the better belts um, with less overheating and more accuracy i think the the difference is insane with hispanos with 50 cals not so much also with german machine guns not so much with german cannons well it's feelable but it's not as disastrous as with hispanos with japanese uh, 20 millimeters to be honest i cannot quite remember um, i'm currently also spading the ki 108 <sighs> russian bombers when they spark 5 6 37 millimeters you get hit with a single 20 millimeter shell and you explode um yeah it's just disastrous i mean gaijin should really have a look at that uh, but you know who am i to tell them nevertheless I think the Spitfire is a nice plane, but even it got power creep by quote unquote the new P47, you know, with the high performance of the 50 cals, with the recent patches, with the air start a long time ago, and with the nice flight model, the ruggedness it has, and also with the adver advertisement of the German premium P47, which really is a plague at this point. Even with the higher battle rating, I mean, it deserves 5.0 or even higher with the air start. Or you just would remove the air start or lower it or just put it way behind the actual airfield. Something has to be addressed. It's too easy to fly a P-47 and too unfun to fight against it. So, the there was one Italian aircraft that harvested as some, well, ground units and it finally crashed. Um, a while ago actually and there is just one German bomber a Do 217 alive and well he's on the airfield he has landed you might see the dot and just in a moment he actually gets repaired and um, gets well beamed to the end of the runway I can say it in no other words than you know beaming and well he does actually the smart thing he bails out. We clearly have the advantage with three fighters and while I love my Dota 17, this guy cannot win the game uh, except if we all fly into the AAA position around the airfield. There you see him and just in a moment should come the message that the enemy team, yeah, hostile team has lost all of its vehicles and I think this deserves a round of applause because it shortened the game, he doesn't have to pay the repair bills and we don't have to waste our aircraft and fly around for a few more minutes for just one kill to end the game. And I actually got another survivor medal, which I do not get that often in aircraft. Again, you need to get five kills and you need to survive the match. It's not that easy. So yeah, a bit more aircraft action going on here. Now let's have a quick look at the results. So first of all, the backups, I just collect them and 105 thousand silver lines and 5700 vehicle research points and i think with you know rrb there is not too much wrong with the income this is without a booster for silver lines so keep this in mind 2976 score points is also good you know income there you can see how the plane is upgraded 
I really recommend the radiators and all the weapon systems. Maybe you begin with the weapon systems, side climbing and have a little bit of patience. Um, it's not really that fun to fly against the Germans when they spam the P-47s. If P-47s are not the problem, it's harvesting time. And as usual, this might trigger some people. Let's discuss this a bit more civilized in the comment section. <laughs> yeah, he said, after triggering people, no. In all honesty, that's it for me today. Finally, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other in the skies and on the battlefields of War Thunder.